Hello everyone, Mark Dolan, our Applications Engineer here with Hawkridge Systems, and today I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial on how we can create a one-to-one -one sale size drawing of a particular part that we've created within SolidWorks, and then go ahead and print out that drawing at that same one-to-one -one scale so that we can use it as a template when we actually go to manufacture this part. The example we're going to be using for this tutorial will be this wrench that I created a little bit ago. Once you're happy with how the part looks, we can actually jump in and create a quick drawing of this piece. So to do this, we'll go up to the top menu bar, choose Make Drawing from Part or Assembly, and I'm going to choose our A size template, which should correlate out to an 8 by 11 sheet of paper when we actually go ahead and print it. Once we create this drawing, we're actually going to go and drag whatever views we need for this particular piece into our drawing sheet. So for this, I'll just drag a front and a top view, and we'll push OK. Now currently, we can see that our drawing is set to a one-to-one -one scale. We can go to the bottom menu bar of our screen and choose either one-to-one, one-to-two, or any scale we want, and this will automatically scale properly. However, I do want to double check that each of our particular drawing views is set properly. So I'll select a drawing view, go to the property manager of that view, and go to our scale section. We'll see that it is using our sheet scale, so that is going to print in a 1 to 1 scale. I'm going to go through and add some model items to our part. So this is going to be dimensions and annotations that were used when we created the part itself. We'll push OK here. And I'll just uh, drag some of these model items around so that they look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Now once you're done creating your drawing, we can actually go and print out this drawing. To do this, we'll once again go to our top menu bar, choose print, and we can go and set whatever printer we wish to print on. However, before we push OK, we're going to want to go over to our page setup tab. Now this is going to bring up a new window. And in this window, there are three dialog boxes that we want to pay attention to. First, we have the scale and resolution. We have two check boxes. We can scale to fit, or we can scale the actual drawing sheet itself. What scale to fit is going to do is automatically scale whatever drawing that we have to the particular size sheet of paper that we're printing within our printer. So for that uh, sheet, we're going to go down to our paper size and choose either letter or whatever other size we need for this particular print. Now, the other option we have here is scale. Scale we can set to either 100%, 50%, or whatever percent we want for our particular drawing. Now, because we actually created our model views at a one-to-one -one ratio, we do want to print at 100%, which is going to print out at a one-to-one -one scale. So once this is set properly, we can push OK and then go ahead and print out our drawing. Now, to double check and make sure that our drawing is actually printed to a one-to-one -one scale, we're gonna go through and either measure it with a pair of calipers or a ruler. We'll see the overall dimension between the center of both heads is set to 100 millimeters. We can see that the opening on the left side of our wrench is at 15 millimeters, and the opening on the right side of our wrench is set to 13 millimeters. Now, we've confirmed that this is printed at one to one. We can go ahead and give this to anyone in our shop and have this as a template to double check when we manufacture our parts so that it is to the correct scale. That's going to be the end of this tutorial. I want to thank you for watching and please make sure you like and subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube page for additional content and tutorials on SolidWorks software. Thank you.